When it comes to e-readers, there's a lot of them out there. And phones, there's hundreds of millions of phones in Canada and the US. But when it comes to bridging the gap between an e-reader and a phone, surprisingly it's a sparse market. A Yoda phone, probably the most successful one. It doesn't have an e-paper display on the front, it just has it on the back and there's limited functionality. There's cases that you can buy that have an e-paper display on the back of the phone. There's some phones from like China that actually have like a dual screen e-reader uh, on one side, LCD on another, but Woeful specs uh, doesn't have the necessary bands to be able to be used outside of China So you won't get 4g speeds you'll get like 2g speeds So there is one company based in New York State that actually has shipped out an e-ink phone in the past It was a 2g phone very limited functionality They have a second generation that they're currently raising money for and within a few short weeks that we've raised over a hundred thousand uh, dollars They're shipping it is sometime in 2019 I believe April of 2019 uh, it's one single e-paper screen on the front and clear on the back but it does have a camera it actually take pictures with an e-ink screen which is very cool it's a really basic phone though it's mainly uh, 4g text messages and phone calls only they said maybe a stretch goals that maybe add an alarm clock add ride sharing services like uber and lyft and things like that calculator app but those aren't in the original spec so yeah basic e-ink phone uh some of the things has one gig of ram eight gigs of storage um I believe it has the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as well uh the battery though woeful 500 milliamps uh this will give you 24 hours of standby and three hours of talk time it, with that type of battery we ensure not a, you know, we entered the category of novelty phones. And although this phone is getting a lot of support by people who are just like, wow, an e-reader phone, cool. But you have to kind of like look a little bit deeper to realize that with a 500 milliamp battery, you're not gonna get any battery life out of that at all. So I don't know if I could recommend this phone, but I wanted to bring it to your attention just because in terms of US based companies, they're, they're really the only ones that have just ever released an e-ink phone. They did one last year, they're doing another one now and it'll be shipped out sometime early next year so hopefully this might spark an industry trend but i think in order for an e-ink phone to be successful it has to just go beyond phone calls and text messages you need whatsapp you need apps and things like that and in order for apps to work you need like a four or five thousand milliamp uh, battery in order to sustain that battery life over the period of weeks and not just a day for goodyreader.com, my name is Michael, everybody take care.